years ago, baseball legend Jackie Robinson and his family held a concert in their Stamford, Connecticut backyard to help raise bail money for jail freedom fighters. Among those in attendance was Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. Continuing on this family fundraising tradition, the Jackie Robinson Foundation held its fourth annual Jazz on the Grass benefit at a private estate in Sherman Oaks to help raise funds for their education and leadership development program. The Jackie Robinson Foundation is a public nonprofit organization founded by Jackie's wife, Rachel Robinson, in 1973, just one year after Jackie's passing. The JRF honors Jackie's memory by keeping alive the spark and commitment that he brought to social issues by supporting college-bound minorities seeking to develop their potential. We have 248 scholars across the country, and um, there are 92 colleges uh, and universities and in more than 32 states. So we are getting some of the best and the brightest from across the country to apply for the scholarship. It becomes a very demanding um, application process and a very rigorous um, interview process as you get you know, closer to the end of that cycle. Um, those scholars are then with us for the four years throughout the duration of their undergraduate years. I'm a sophomore at Howard University, which is located in um, Washington, D.C. I'm a biology major. Jackie Robinson has been such a blessing in my life, providing not only financial support, but also that academic and just spiritual support, that family support throughout my educational process. We have a nearly 100% graduation rate, and we accredit that to the fact that we distinguish ourselves in the fact that we're much more than scholarship assistance. We're beyond the dollars. We are a program, and we become a family for our students. And so we have scholars who are majoring in biology. We have scholars who want to be lawyers, but we also have scholars who are jazz performance majors um, or scholars who majors might be biology, but their interest is music. The program offers potential contributors many ways to donate such as the festival Silent Auction, which features an array of memorabilia, collectibles, and pop culture paraphernalia. More than 700 corporations and individuals have contributed, like Major League Baseball, J.P. Morgan Chase, and a variety of athletes, performers, and entrepreneurs. The foundation has awarded over $18 million in scholarships. Why exactly have you volunteered to perform at this fundraiser today? I mean, how could I not? It's just the most incredible cause, and every year it gets better and better. And the main thing about this is supporting the nurturance and the education of these talented, talented students that really deserve to have the funding necessary for them to continue their brilliance. I mean, I talked to some of them and the maturity and self-awareness that they possess is just, it's mind-boggling. Uh, my mother was a classical pianist. She's a concert pianist. So I grew up uh, listening to her play the piano hours and hours and hours on end during, uh, during my childhood. And it was so soothing and relaxing. And then as I got older, you know, you start listening to other kinds of music. My brother would come home. He'd bring Brazilian music in. He'd bring anything from Milton Nascimento to... Uh, and then I grew up in a very diverse neighborhood and diverse school, so I listen to everything, everything. So what we have here today is a terrific event where money is being raised to send minority children into colleges with almost a 100% graduation rate. Music is the common denominator that touches everybody's hearts, their souls, and their pocketbooks. And this is what is keeping the Jackie Robinson Foundation alive in its fourth year here in Southern California. This is Wes Parker bringing you the good life for California life.